Elsewhere, the two main conservative candidates, Hong Jun-pyo and Yoo Seung-min, hit the eastern province of Gangwon-do. Yoo Seung-min specifically pledging support for the Winter Olympics coming there next year. And about an hour outside of Seoul, Shim Sang-jung of the Justice Party made her pitch to workers at a car factory. Shin Se-min reports. South Korean presidential candidates were back on the trail on Monday with fresh pledges and packed schedules. Hong Jun-pyo of the conservative Liberty Korea Party started off the second week of campaigning in Gangwon-do and Gyeonggi-do provinces. The candidate vowed to boost the Wonju Medical Industry Techno Valley in order to prepare the region for the fast approaching fourth industrial revolution. The prosecutor turned presidential hopeful also underscored his all-time promise of enhancing the national security, adding that Gangwon-do province, a region that borders with North Korea, should not shake with anxiety. Also touching base of the country's east coast, Paren Party's Yu Sung Min canvassed support for the coming Winter Olympic Games. Pyeongchang Winter Games will be the first global sporting event that the new president will overlook. And Biden Party's Yu Zung Min vowed to make all out efforts to make Pyeongchang shine and to have Korea shine again. While visiting, Yu took a stroll around the area, promised his full support for the Winter Games, adding that he will work with the parliament to build the funds necessary to host a successful Winter Olympics. I will spare no effort in achieving a successful Pyeongchang Winter Olympic Games. I will set up a direct committee team under the presidential office and will send my full support. Meanwhile, Progressive Justice Party's Shim Sang-jung greeted workers returning to their former jobs at the Sangyong Motors factory in Pyeongtaek, Gyeonggi-do province. It was rather a special day for the 61 workers who had been laid off eight years ago. Promising a country that guarantees a safe and secured working environment, the presidential hopeful said she will make 35 working hours a week a reality for all Koreans. All three presidential candidates sweeping through different parts of the country on the first day of the official second week into the campaign will be back in the capital on Tuesday as they're scheduled to meet with the other contenders for a fourth official TV debate. Shin Zemin, Arirang News.